In this video, we'll talk about how to use log files in Stata. Log files keep a record of all of the input and output that comes up in Stata's results window. First, it helps you reproduce your work. That means that if you find a uh, good finding and you want to find out how you reach that finding, you can go back through the log file and find the steps that brought you to where you want to be. Second, it allows other people to check your work. That's useful when you want help from an outside consultant or somebody wants details on how you got the findings that you got. The command to generate log files is log. This is the syntax for beginning a log file. To start a log file, input these commands. Log space using space quotation mark the name you want to assign to your log file dot txt close quotation marks comma text append with a space after the comma and a space after text for example if I wanted to call my log file data analysis I'd use the syntax log using data analysis dot txt in quotation marks comma text append your file name can have letters numbers and spaces embedded in it. By using the option text in this command, you're asking Stata to store your log in a plain text file that can be opened on any computer. Without using this option, you'll require Stata to open up your log file. The option append tells Stata to add any new input or output to the end of a log file that has the name that you want to assign to this log file. In other words, if you already have a log file called data analysis and you use the command append, Stata will add any new input or output to the end of the log file. You could instead use the option replace, which tells Stata to erase the old copy and create a new one. You can pause and restart a log file by using the commands log off and log on. The command log off pauses the log files recording of your input and output. Log on resumes a paused log file. To stop logging your input and output, enter the command log close. Let's see what it looks like to use log files in a Stata session. I ask Stata to start a log session by typing in log using open quotation marks and the name of the log file that I want. I'm calling it my log file. Dot txt close quotes comma text. I hit enter. And I get this message telling me that the log file has begun. If I type in some analyses and close the log file, I'll see that the log file has appeared in my working directory. I can open it and see what I did in my Stata session. I'm going to reopen the log file again. And I'll get this message. I can type in more analyses and it will also be recorded. If I type log off it will pause the analysis. While the log is off, I'm going to run a tab of people's citizenship and turn the log on. Then I'll run a third variable. I close the log file and if you look, the table denoting citizenship in the sample isn't recorded because the logging was paused. A log file records a Stata session's input and output. You begin a log file using the command log using quotation marks, the name of the log file, again the name you want to assign to the log file dot txt close quotation marks comma text. If you add the option replace you're asking Stata to overwrite any log file that already exists with that name. If you use append, you're asking
masking stated to add new input and output to the end of an existing log file. To pause a log file, type in log off. To resume logging your session, use the command log on. And to close a log file, use the command log close. For more information on Stata logs, type help log in the command window.